Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all well. Today I have a huge cult beauty haul. So um, a couple of months ago, cult beauty did like a, um, they had like uh, a lot of, like they had a section uh, where um, various different, various different brands were like 30% off, 40% off, or even 50% off. And on top of that, they did a deal where if you spent like £190, then you also got a free um, goodie bag with all full-size um, luxury products. So, you know, of course I had to um, jump on the bandwagon. Now, all of this... I didn't buy it at once it's like um, I'll say it's about two different um, orders so yeah but I'm only gonna show you like one of like one goodie bag because there's no point you showing every single goodie bag which I got because they all are like the same um, you know products so let's get started um so the first item I picked up was this um Jaclyn Hill the master master brightening collection um this was already on sale so yeah um I've always wanted to pick this up but you know um I didn't because I wanted to wait for a good sale I have all of the products here with me, if you can see, like, yeah, that's a lot of products. And I'm glad that I waited for a, uh, you know, a really good offer. Otherwise, I, there was no way I was going to buy any of this, like, or pay full, pri full price. Or even if they were on sale, um, if it didn't include the you know you know the beauty bag um the next item i picked up was this anastasia um beverly hills loose setting powder um i think it's the white one a translucent one this has been talked about in the beauty community as well so it was on sale I thought I'll pick it up now I then picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation this is the luminous foundation and the shade I picked up was 355 N I hope it's my shade and um, this was this foundation is 40 pounds guys but on cult beauty they they I think they had either 40 or 50 percent off this foundation and Yes, of course, I was going to pick it up because there's no way on earth I was going to pay £40 full price for this foundation. So, yeah, the next item I got was this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This is quite a rave again and it's a full size product and it was on sale so I picked it up. Um, the next item I got was this, again, ABH Cream Bronzer in, um, Warm Tan. I'm not going to open this. If you want to see how it looks like or what, just Google it or something because, you know, it's going to take me forever to open the sticker and show it to you guys. Um, what did I get? I picked up the new Huda, Huda Beauty Concealer. This is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte um, Liquid Concealer. And I picked up in the shade um, nu Nougat. Yeah, Nougat. Um, this is more recent concealer from her. I don't understand how... A concealer can be luminous and matte at the same time. 
that just doesn't make sense sense to me but yeah we shall see um what else um i also picked up some uh, a pair of lashes from huda beauty just because they were on sale for like between eight to ten pounds or probably less than that um and you know with the goodie bag and everything i thought you know why not because i only have one pair of huda beauty lashes and i think they're in the style samantha and i have used them to death and um i love them um so yeah um so this is in the style farah they are a lot more voluminous and spiky and wispy than um samantha samantha is like a more toned down version of farah um what's next i picked up a anastasia there's a lot of abh products in this haul just because a lot of the abh products were like really like um marked down to like either 30 or 40 percent um so this particular product i'm really excited about from abh it's the um it's the highlighter in um, iced out now I know um, the highlighter which is uh, the Amrezy highlighter who was um, who was uh, which was you know uh, collaborated with Amrezy who's a Instagram this huge Instagram influencer whatever and um, and I never got my hands on it because it was limited edition and I tried to find it like second hand but people the people I found who were selling the second hand you know uh, ones were charging extortionate amount of price so yeah but this was on sale for 20 pounds i believe um so i thought i missed out on the amreezy one let's just go for this one then oh my god it's so stunning um sorry the mirror is blinding you i'm not gonna swatch it if you want to see swatch it swatches just google guys i'm not gonna like sit here and swatch these items for you um it's gonna take forever okay um then i got this abh this is a single eyeshadow in the shade um deep plum um i have one or two single eyeshadows from ABH but this one was um I think for like five or six pounds I don't really buy single eyeshadows these days it's more like ever since you know palette has become the you know became the thing like people stopped buying single eyeshadows but for seven pounds I thought you know um pick it up i don't know i'm i'm crazy like that guys um another foundation-esque product is the it cosmetics cc plus oil free matte foundation and in the shade i picked up was tan i have the the normal one but i don't have the matte one and i didn't i wasn't intending to pick up the matte one but since it was on sale i thought you know i'll pick it up and see how it's like i know the other one is like very popular um okay another highlighter i picked up i'm really excited about this one it's the benefit cookie highlighter um again this is super popular and every time i checked out it was either out of stock or discontinued or something like that but the other day 
when I was ma um, making these orders, I saw that Benefit had the cookie highlighter back. So, yeah, I I had to get it. Um, I would have prefer, preferred to pick it up in a, like, a palette form or something, rather than just picking up, like, a full size one because you can you never go for a full size um product well at least i don't um i picked up the laura mercier secret concealer for under eye i know back in the day like i know back in the day um, back in the day i mean like 10 11 years ago this was this concealer was really popular but then you know when you're finished with your youtube video there it is um, but the liquid concealer became like the puzzle when liquid concealer yes became like came into the scene like these sort of cream concealers you know People, people weren't like using like cream concealers because they're like very heavy and cakey and thick um, consistency. But this, I bought it to, you know, like spot conceal, not necessarily under my eyes, um, you know, to conceal under my eyes and you know, back in the day, I wanted this concealer, but couldn't afford it. You know, um, it was too expensive, blah, blah, blah. But after 10 years or so, I finally picked this concealer up. And I'm glad I picked, up, picked it up when it was on sale. Um, okay, um, next item is um, the ABH Powder Bronzer. Um, and this is in the shade Tawny. Um, again, I wanted to try this, but uh, didn't want to pay like £30. I think this bronzer is either £30 or £40, don't quote me. Um, but since it was heavily discounted, I finally picked it up. I know like a couple of TK Maxx had this this bronzer for like uh like uh, what am i trying to say basically i i saw like a couple of you um influencers videos and they said they said that they picked the, you know picked this bought this bronzer from tk max and you know tk max is a discounted um store for like high end luxury items but I checked, and all the TK Maxx I've been to or checked didn't have it. So here it is. Not sure about the shade looking at it now. I feel like it's... Is it going to be too light for my complexion? I don't know. I'll see. So that's that. Um, the next item I have is the ABH um, Brow Powder Duo. Again, a product I had, I have always wanted to try out. They had this in a, like a blonde sort of shade for like 40% uh, off, I think. But there's no, you know, there's no point in me getting a extremely light shade just because it was on sale. You know, I'd rather get my own shade. Um, shall I open it and show it to you guys? Why not? I have the Freedom version. Freedom, you know, the Freedom brand which does not exist anymore they like they had the deep version of this product and i love it i use it so this is it and what's the shade dark brown hope it's my shade should have picked up ebony i don't know okay 
Um, I then picked this highlighter bundle, like a mini highlighter bundle from, again, ABH. This is their loose highlighter, highlighters. Yeah, loose highlighter. Um, and those are the shades. And then, what's next? I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury... Um, eyeshadow quad this is the hollywood flawless eye filter luxury palette and it's in diva lights i don't have any charlotte tilbury eyeshadow like her quads because they're just way too expensive and i am not prepared to spend that much money on a quad um I have tried her eyeshadows though. I I have a palette from her uh, which has like three eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Um, can't, I think what, what are they called? The face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know. Um, but I never tried like her quads, so it was on sale for 27 pounds which is still a, is a lot of money for you know a quad yes it's, it's charlotte tilbury and whatnot but i don't particularly find her eyeshadows to be like groundbreaking um knowing that there's so many like inexpensive affordable brands that do eyeshadows for just as good or if not better or greater but anyways i just wanted one the main point is um so this is it and those are the shadows um yeah it looks pretty so excited for this I then picked up another Laura Mercier product. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in um, SC7. Um, I, I think I had this product. Like, my husband bought it for me from a sale, like a charity shop where um, it was unopened and he knows how much I like makeup and so you know uh, he saw it and he bought it for me and then I decluttered it from my collection years ago but I have bought another one because again it was on um, sale Again, I bought it because I wanted to spot conceal because I don't use these like thick cre um, cream concealers um, for my under eyes um, just four more product products guys and then we're done I picked up this Zoeva foundation this is the Zoeva authentic authentic skin natural luminous foundation and the shade is 27 I don't know what that 270N Honest. Hope it's my shade. Um, this was, I think it was between 10 to 15 pounds um, on sale. So I picked that up. Um, another Laura Mercier product I picked up is a lip liner from her. It's the 185 Pink Peony. I know. Um, her lip liners are quite popular, especially those who are like die-hard Laura Mercier, you know, like consumers. Um, but I never, you know, I never felt the urge to go out and buy a Laura Mercier lip liner. Um, yeah. So this is it. I think it was around £13 on sale. Oops. 
there's nothing really to show you it's just a standard lip liner and then finally i picked up two lip products from charlotte tilbury um now these are in um real refill packaging hence why they were so heavily um discounted um i do have charlotte tilbury lipsticks like i think i have three lipsticks from charlotte tilbury but they're like really mini size um i think i bought it in a limited edition trio kit um and these were like 12 or 13 pounds and yeah i don't care if it was in a refill form they can be really good for traveling um so yeah um the shade i purchased were was um pasty patsy red or paste no it is patsy red and viva la vegara it's a weird name I'm going to see if I can open it and show it to you guys. So, if you have a full size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, I'm guessing you can just put this refill. I'm not sure if there's a special packaging or special bullet for the refill lipsticks, but yeah um so that's patsy red stunning shade and mini lipsticks are really great if you're like traveling um especially if you're like flying and you don't want to carry a full-size lipsticks um um the last three or four holidays or the last three or four flights I've been on I've always carried like mini products and they're just better because you know um, full-size products take a lot of space and you never know if you you know you have to chuck it you know in the bin or something because of security so that's um, the other one which is Viva La Ve Vegra I don't know what that means sounds quite strange okay so that is it um, now I'm going to show you what I got in my beauty goodie bag um, they're all full size products um, oh it's not there sorry guys um, I thought it was in that bag but it's not I, it's actually in another bag but it's okay I'll, I'll do a separate video and show you what I got as part of the deal anyway this video is long enough so you know it's okay i hope you've enjoyed this video until next time take care bye guys